Hi there and welcome as we kind of finish our week here together. This Friday we have our uh, another lesson, another devotional together and we're in uh, the book of Acts chapter 10 and we're picking up in uh, the second part of verse 23. We're looking at uh, Peter's call to go and uh, bring the hope of the gospel to a uh, centurion, a Roman centurion, a Gentile by the name of Cornelius. And so as we get ready to get into the, the word here and uh, finish our week, uh, would you pray with me? Father, bless this time, bless this word, bless it as your word and speak it mightily and powerfully to our heart. For your word is truth, your word is life. And so God, we turn to you and ask that you would speak in Jesus' name. All right, so I want to read with you, starting in the second part of verse 23, uh, Peter uh, has now been visited by the three folks that Cornelius sent to him, and uh, he entertained them, brought them in, took care of them, and then it says, uh, the next day, he, Peter, he rose and went away with them, and some of the brothers from Joppa accompanied him. And on the following day, they entered Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter lifted him up, saying, Stand up, I too am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many persons gathered. And he said to them, You yourselves know how unlawful it is for a Jew to associate with or to visit anyone of other, another nation, but God has shown me that I should not call any person common or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. I asked then why you sent for me. And Cornelius said, four days ago about this hour, I was praying in my house at the ninth hour, and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He is lodging in the house of Simon a tanner by the sea. So I sent for you at once, and you have been kind enough to come. Now therefore, we are all here in the presence of God to hear all that you have been commanded by the Lord. So Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is accepted to him, acceptable to him. As for the word that he sent to Israel, preaching good news of peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know what happened through all Judea, beginning from Galilee after the baptism that John proclaimed, how he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the, the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and made him to appear not to all the people, but to us who have been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people, to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Now I know that's quite a lengthy reading and there's a lot that goes on here, but the, the thing that I want to emphasize the most here is notice the humility of Peter. Peter who is uh, recognizing that this is outside what he expected, having this call to the Gentiles. He is gathering uh, unlawfully to spend this time uh, together with those that are different from him. He says, "How you know how it's unlawful that Jews would associate with, with Gentiles. Um, and yet throughout this, Peter is tender to the leading and the prompting and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in charge, guiding Peter. And above all else, Peter now sees and knows that what Jesus came to do was to rescue not just those that Peter thought were favored most of all, his countrymen, the Jews, but Jesus came to bring redemption to all who will believe in him as Savior, Jews and Gentiles. 
And so here we have Peter proclaiming good news that is for all the nations. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we have happening here is the fulfillment of Genesis chapter 12. Uh, when God says to Abram, I'll bless you and make you great. I'll make your name great. And the blessing that I will give to you is that you will be able to be a blessing to the nations. And Jesus Christ is that blessing to the nations. Friends, when we see Jesus, we must see that Jesus is not a savior just for those that we think um, deserve it. Jesus is not a savior just for those that uh, we like. Jesus is a savior, as Peter says here, for all those and to all those and of all those that God has chosen. Friends, we must make the love and the truth and the hope of Jesus Christ known, just as Peter did here faithfully. Would you join me in boldly in this world, in this time, in this season, when so many are despairing and distraught and, and discouraged, depressed and down and out and, and so much hardship going on? What they need is the hope of Jesus Christ. Could we be bold together and preach and proclaim and spread the love and the truth of Jesus? Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would make us to be such people who are so captivated and so uh, enamored and so uh, 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 cared for and loved and cherished and close to you that we would not, we couldn't help but want to make you known to all those around us. So God, lead us and guide us, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Friday. Sunday is coming. And friends, there's no better place, no more important place than we need to be on that time than to gather with the people of God to worship Jesus Christ. I would certainly love to have you join us at Trinity Presbyterian Church here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, but if you already have a church or you're not able to, to get with us, uh, please get with a body of believers that will encourage you, that will equip you and that will launch you in your endeavor, not only to, to trust and know and grow in Jesus Christ, but you would also be uh, equipped and eager to go and let Jesus be known in your work, in your home, in your neighborhoods, uh, to every person that you run into, to, to grow in Jesus and to go in Jesus. Uh, if you'd love to, we'd love to have you join us via live stream, even for worship too. So uh, may the Lord be with you. May you have a peaceful, joyous weekend, and I'll see you again Monday.